Okay, I am back at the desk, and this one is going to take some space. This is tip number 25, and it's an old one. And so, we're going to talk about maps and compasses. I thought about this as I was getting ready by printing maps to teach a map and compass class tomorrow morning. Let's go to this map for starters. Um, so this is the map that I use for teaching map and compass class, one of the maps that I use. And um, to understand this tip, you need to understand a few things. You're gonna need to understand a compass a little bit, and you're gonna need to understand a topo map. And so, it's important to understand a couple things. The first thing is that the red end of the needle on this compass, on any compass, points to magnetic north. And the top of a map, which is where north is normally, let's just write north, aligns with the grid that is on the map. So when you're working on the map in general, you align the compass with the edge of the map or with the grid and then that means that the bezel is aligned with true north which is what the map shows whereas the compass needle shows magnetic north right and so that means that if i shoot a bearing in the real world and then transfer it to a map i have to account for that difference between magnetic north and true north and that difference is called declination or magnetic variation. And so that difference is listed on a map with an indicator that looks like this, right? And so on August 20th of 2015, the declination of this map was eight and a half degrees west. And so the star is indicating true north, which aligns with the grid whereas this angle aligns with magnetic north, which is what the compass is seeing. So anytime we combine a map and a compass, we have to account for that. And that's why there are numbers printed in here, so you can do that math, or this compass has settable declination. Um, it comes with a little tool so that you can set it um, to account for that declination difference. Well, I guess the declination is the difference, right? Um, you can set it for that difference between magnetic north and true north. But a million years ago, all right, slight exaggeration, 1990 or so, in Backpacker Magazine, I saw this tip for essentially cheating declination. And I've never seen it anyplace else. And it is so good. It works so well. So in order to do this cheat, you're going to need a ruler, you're going to need a pencil or a pen. Of course, I use a Blackwing 602, best pencil in the world. Um, all right, so to account for that, we're going to need to draw on our map. And I, I do this on my full-size maps as well. I'm going to align the ruler with the declination indicator and draw a line and then draw a parallel line and then I'm gonna align this with this guy and I'm gonna draw another line and we're gonna do that right across the map So now I've drawn a new line on this map that is offset from the regular grid and that matches the declination indicator down here in the corner. So now when I align my compass, instead of aligning 
with the grid on the map, I align with the grid that I drew, and I no longer have to account for that difference. That's mind-blowing, right? So let's talk about this a little bit more just to make sure you understand. If I were standing right here, and I wanted to know the compass bearing to right here, I would align the edges of this compass. I'll draw a line. I may not really do that in the real world. And while I've drawn that line, I'm then going to spin. So if I align with the grid that's pre-drawn, I'm at 332, 4, 6 degrees true. If I align with the grid as I drew it, oh, too far. I'm at 342, 44. 45 and there's your eight and a half degrees or so but that is the difference right is figuring out the bearing based on the regular grid or based on the grid that I've drawn where the grid that I've drawn I don't have to worry about declination anymore I've been using this method for decades it works brilliantly um, and is super super easy sometimes I use it sometimes I'll just account for it with this by adjusting the base plate but uh, really nice simple tip that is tip number 25 i got a lot of videos coming i'm a little behind in editing but they're coming